When we talk about building muscle, it's impossible not to bring up the topic of testosterone. Testosterone is a steroid hormone essential for increasing the gene expression of anabolic proteins in muscle. In other words, we need testosterone to build muscle. To give you an example of the impact of testosterone on muscle gains, a 1996 paper published in the New England Journal of Medicine analyzed the effects of supraphysiologic doses of testosterone on muscle size and strength in average men over 10 weeks. 40 men were randomly assigned to four groups. Group one trained naturally. Group two took 600 milligrams of testosterone every week into the same training as group one. Group three took 600 milligrams of testosterone every week but did not train at all. Group four was the placebo group, which didn't train or take any testosterone. The results were quite interesting. As expected, the group that injected testosterone and weight trained saw the best muscle gains at about 13 pounds. And the group that saw the most minuscule muscle gains was the placebo group. However, what may surprise some of you is that the group that did not train but injected testosterone saw a bigger increase in lean body mass than the group that trained naturally. 6.6 .6 pounds in the group that took testosterone versus 4.4 pounds in the group that trained naturally. Crazy, right? However, an important thing to note about this study is that the participants who took testosterone rose their testosterone levels to roughly three times higher than the levels you can expect to achieve naturally. So even if you maximize the natural production of testosterone, you probably wouldn't see these type of gains in such a short time frame. Keep in mind that the goal of this example is not to discourage you or incentivize you to inject testosterone. Instead, the purpose is to highlight how your testosterone levels impact your gains. Testosterone also plays a key role in overall health and fat loss. Low testosterone levels may lead to loss of sex drive, erectile dysfunction, diminished brain function, depression, lack of energy, fat gain, and loss of bone, muscle mass, and strength. So the real question is, how can we avoid this and would naturally increasing testosterone levels impact muscle growth? Although the evidence is somewhat unclear, some studies can provide a fascinating insight. Today's video will show you six ways to boost testosterone naturally. But before we start, let's establish a baseline for what normal testosterone levels look like. According to a 2017 study, a normal range in a healthy, non-obese population of European and American men, 19 to 39 years old, is 264 to 916 nanograms per deciliter. Another 2016 study looking at reference values in the United States reported a bottom range of 160 to 300 nanograms per deciliter and a top range of 726 to 1,130 nanograms per deciliter. A key aspect to consider when looking at these values is individual variability. Multiple studies showed significant increases in muscle mass and strength for men who increased their testosterone levels from the lower end of the ranges, which were about 300 nanograms per deciliter, to average or above average levels of about 500 or more nanograms per deciliter, even without resistance training. However, what we want to know is, what if you go from average to higher levels? Would that lead to even more muscle growth? And the answer to this question is unclear, but the way we see it, there's no downside to trying to optimize your testosterone levels naturally. And there could only be some upside, not only from a body composition standpoint, but also for improving overall health. This is especially important as you get older, considering that testosterone levels start to decline 1-2% to per year somewhere around your 30s. So, here are the six ways to boost testosterone naturally. Number one, resistance training. Resistance training can benefit testosterone production in the long run and improve body composition and health overall. However, there are some myths around the internet regarding what exercises you should prioritize to optimize testosterone levels. For instance, you may have heard that you should include heavy compound lifts like deadlifts and squats in your training program because they boost testosterone significantly, leading to increased muscle gains. Although there is an acute increase in testosterone levels after a resistance training session, this only lasts about 15 to 30 minutes and cannot be used as proxy markers for hypertrophic potential. In other words, hormone elevations from resistance training probably don't play a significant role in the muscle building process. So instead of worrying about what exercises will increase your testosterone the most, focus on applying progressive overload to your training and getting stronger over time. Consistent training will boost your testosterone levels more than any specific exercise. Number two, maintain a healthy body composition. Through the influence of social media, it's easy to believe that being shredded year round is great for your aesthetics and health. This isn't true. If you're familiar with the process of preparing for a bodybuilding show, you'll know that athletes diet for an extended period to reach very low body fat levels, so they look as lean as possible while retaining as much muscle as possible. 
What isn't often discussed, however, are the health implications and sustainability of getting to very low body fat percentages. It's common for athletes to experience loss of sex drive, lethargy, low energy levels, increased irritability, increased hunger, and lower testosterone levels during the final stages of prep. For example, a 12-month case study following a natural bodybuilder during contest prep found that as his body fat percentage went from about 14.8% to 4.5%, testosterone levels significantly decreased from 922 nanograms per deciliter to 227 nanograms per deciliter, which is an astounding 77% decrease. So it's safe to say that we don't want to be too lean for too long. But what about the opposite? What if we have too much body fat? Research shows that having a high body fat percentage may decrease testosterone levels. Further, being overweight can lead to cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes, which have been linked to decreases in testosterone. The good news is that losing weight, particularly fat mass, will boost your testosterone levels and improve overall health if you are above a healthy body fat percentage. So what is a healthy body fat percentage? Unfortunately, we can't tell you exactly what your body fat percentage should be, as this is specific to each individual. But we believe anywhere between 10 to 15% will likely be a healthy range to optimize testosterone levels for most men. Number three, avoid rapid weight loss and crash dieting. While we're on the topic of weight loss, you should know that rapid weight loss is significant for your testosterone levels. A 2008 study investigated the effects of rapid weight loss in 18 elite wrestlers and found that two to three weeks of a severe calorie deficit caused a pretty big 62% decrease in serum testosterone when caloric intake was limited to 500 to 1,000 calories per day. Aggressive cuts usually lead to more significant muscle loss, decreases in performance, and impaired sleep quality. So if you wanna get leaner and maintain an optimal environment to boost your testosterone levels, give yourself time to lose weight sustainably. We recommend losing about 0.5% to 1% of total body weight per week. Aim for the lower range if you're a leaner individual and the upper range if you've got more fat to lose. Number four, include fats in your diet. Speaking of fat, there is a common belief that you should include a healthy amount of fats in your diet to optimize testosterone production. While research does seem to favor higher fat diets versus lower fat diets for optimal testosterone levels, it appears that the total energy intake is likely the main driver of these changes. A 2017 case study of male bodybuilders during contest prep found a 72% decrease in testosterone while minimal changes occurred in fat intake. With that said, as long as your fat intake is within 20 to 35% of your total caloric intake and you're maintaining a healthy body weight, you're doing great. Number five, correct nutritional deficiencies. Besides the macronutrient composition of the diet and total energy intake, vitamins and minerals seem to play an important role in boosting testosterone levels, particularly if you have nutritional deficiencies. For example, a zinc deficiency may decrease testosterone levels, so make sure to include zinc sources in your diet, such as meat, shellfish, beans, and certain nuts and seeds. If you're a fan of oysters, they're a fantastic source of zinc and other macronutrients. Vitamin D is also important to regulate testosterone levels. A 2011 study showed a 20% increase in testosterone after a year of supplementation with vitamin D in men who were deficient. Bear in mind that we can also get vitamin D from being in the sunlight. So before you decide to supplement with vitamin D, try and get some daily sun exposure if possible and prioritize foods rich in vitamin D such as fatty fish, eggs, and milk. Number six, prioritize sleep. Besides your diet and training, your lifestyle will also impact your testosterone levels. For instance, sleep has many health benefits and can also increase long-term testosterone production. Sleeping as little as five hours per night can significantly decrease testosterone production and hinder fat loss, even when total energy intake and training programs are matched. In other words, not prioritizing sleep may be sabotaging your hard work in the gym. If you're serious about optimizing your results, aim for seven to nine hours of consistent, good quality sleep every night, and you'll be on your way to boosting your testosterone levels. There you have it, six ways to naturally boost your testosterone levels. In summary, you want to include some form of resistance training in your program, maintain a healthy body weight and composition, and if your main goal is fat loss, don't cut too aggressively as this can decrease muscle mass and testosterone production. Prioritize sleep, both quantity and quality, get some sunlight, eat efficient fats in your diet, and include varied sources of micronutrients like legumes and vegetables to correct any possible deficiencies and improve overall health. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll genuinely help out the channel. 
If you're training in nutrition or in order and you're looking for a bit of an edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order, plus free shipping by using coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.